Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Akhi Bigbal and here we discuss about Forex, Trading, Live Trade and Chart Analysis and welcome to another video. So in this video as the thumbnail indicated and I shared with you guys in the previous video, we will be discussing about the back testing. So I had done a back testing as you can see. I did the entire year 2022. I haven't started the year 2023. I'll be doing 2023 as well. So in this video, I'm going to do one month, which is let's say we'll do January or let's see how it goes. If we do, I think we can do January. We'll try to take some trades in Jan. Then I'll show you guys what is the, how do I approach trade? How do I take these trades? And you will understand like what is my mindset or how do I enter into execute into trades? Why why do I place uh, buy limit or sell limit at different different areas? So you'll get to see that. So that's why that's the whole point of this video. And also to share with you guys the result of back testing. So how was the strategy and how the strategy is working out throughout the like if you do the same thing over and over again and uh, how will you make money right so without further delay let's jump right into our today's content so before moving forward i just want to show you guys if you are new here and new to the channel as i share with you guys the funded trader the this the uh, trading company which in which prop proprietary trading company in which we are doing the challenges so there is a link in the description in the video in which uh, there is a uh, code as well right so you use that code as well as this particular promo you will get um, 10 percentage or 15 percentage based on whatever the, whatever the challenges that you're taking so if you're taking 10k challenges you can get discount up to 50 percentage so if you're taking a 10k challenges i would recommend you to use this particular code which is kingdom 50 then you'll get 50 percentage off and the offer is still there till may 31st okay so may 31st is the last day so if you want to take any challenges 10k challenges kingdom 50 is the code and you can use the link in my description to go to the checkout page so you can get additional benefits as well right and this is the another promo this is also till may 31st because they are two years anniversary so they're coming out this particular promo 10 percentage of 90 percentage lifetime payout that means the profit split will be 95 percentage 90 percentage sorry 125 percentage refund that means the amount that you're paying plus 25 percentage you will get the refund then 10k free challenge you'll get an additional 10k if you're taking any challenges above 50k so i hope you are clear about all these things if everything is okay then we'll move to our back testing results so this is uh, i mean as you can see it took it took me a long time i thought that i could do this in one day but uh, this was very tough it was very hard for us to i mean for me to take the trace then after that put the picture or screenshot of the what happened then write the notes of what happened why did i take this trade what went wrong and whatsoever so everything mentioned it took some time so i managed to complete 2022 now i'll be doing 2023 moving forward and once i finish 2023 i'll do 2021 yeah so that's the plan so let's uh, see the results first so back testing results this is uh, this is the result basically so I started from Jan, taking the same uh, concept. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't understand like what is the strategy, you can watch the video before it where I explain the strategy using CPR, right? So if you watch that video, you will understand what's the strategy that I'm talking about. I use that strategy. Jan, we did 3.6 percentage. Uh, February, we did 9 percentage. March, 2.4. April, 13.8. Uh, 9.4 in May, 4.8 in June, 4.2 in July, 0 0.6, almost break even. In August, September 6.6, uh, 9.6 in October, 0 0.6, same break even in uh, November, 11.4 in December. I think the best month is uh, undoubtedly April and uh, December. So on an average, it's a good return as well. I, I can see it's in a, on an average basis, it's a really good return. And towards the end of the year, it's 76.14 percentage return, which is amazing return. If you think about it, you're trading on a prop firm, okay, and you're not taking on your own account. Don't think about you're trading on your account. Let's imagine you are tra you you are trading with uh, 100K. If you are trading with 100K, in this case, you'll be, um, so in this case, okay, I'll show you mine, which I was, I mean, not mine, the one I was trying. So I use 200K account to try to get that 76% as you can see, it is 152K. If you're trading with 100K, 76 percentage will be 76,014 uh, I mean 76 uh, 76,140 so let's say 76k you could have made a 76k if you're trading with a 100k uh, funded account so that is insane right that's a really good amount and uh, definitely the idea of taking a profit challenge is not to just grab one challenge and hold on to it the idea is to 
grow the funded account right grow the funded account take more accounts and scale up your capital that's the whole point of having a funded account so uh, the result is really good really crazy and as you can see i am doing forward testing uh, forward testing as well i started trade taking some trades in may with my i'm trading with my funded uh, i mean not funded account i mean phase two or in one of the uh, account which is in my forex fund it's a different company uh, but i'm not affiliated with them um, and i'm taking trades for the funded trader where i started a new challenge which is with the 200k that's why i i i use this back testing for 200k because that's the challenge that i'm doing with the funded trader so all the trades i'm taking will be placed in these two accounts okay because as you know i'm not live trading it's easier for me to place the trades and uh, the, let the trade play out by itself right so basically that's it so this is the back testing results now without further delay let's jump into the charts and let's do some back testing right so so this is our last two trades anyways we will do the trade recap video later i mean maybe this weekend i will do a trade recap video what all the trades that we took last week and i'll share with you guys so i'll just replay it here So I'll replay it here. Then let's see. As you can see, this is all full of the positions and everything. That's why you can see you, you, there is a lot of numbers over here. I've been back testing all the way. I keep it. I think it is okay for me. I mean, I don't care looking at this and like a lot of numbers. I know some people like clean charts and whatsoever. I'm doing a systematic way of trading, so I don't care like whatever is in the chart. I mean, to be honest, I don't care as long as uh, the market comes to the position that i'm i'm looking for i'm okay so yeah let's play it and let's try to take some trades so understand like what is the mindset i'm uh, looking for like what is my mindset when i'm taking the trade right so i will usually wait for the next candle to okay next day to start so the next day started over here as you can see i put blue blue marks because uh, it's easier for me to understand like uh, when a new session is open so new session is open usually 5 a.m over here in singapore time i don't know what's the time that you follow whichever time you follow in your place you can just uh, check so if you open this uh, session breaks you can see the session breaks as well so what i will monitor is i'll wake up let's say seven o'clock and i observe the market and i see like what's happening so in this case it's a special scenario because the market opened at i can see over here it's at 2 p.m this day this particular day so it's a very special scenario but if I had to take a trade on this particular day and the market is rejected from the previous high and coming down to the equilibrium level which is the fair value and market is retesting over there the trades I'll be looking for will be I'll keep it at the same previous low which is over here and previous high which is over here so if I had to take a trade what I will do is I'll put a long position over here and I'll put a short position on the top if nothing is triggered then i have no trade today i mean that's how I, I usually plan so previous day high previous day low very simple i'm just placing two trades one in the previous day high one at the previous day low if the market is consolidating in the middle i don't have a trade that's it so let's see if we're gonna get tagged today so this is third gen okay the trade is on third gen okay the next day open so the next day open market still consolidated so we didn't got any trade on that particular day so it's okay what we will do is what i will do is usually is i will keep the trade at the same place because that is a good range and the market has not uh, broken that particular range and i'm not going to come closer to that low because that low is too close for me i think i'll still keep the low over here i will keep this as a low and i'll see because this is very close it will not make any sense for me to come nearer to the market like this i think i will keep my over here which is the previous week low which makes which makes it more interesting because if there is a higher time frame position let's say like fair value or weekly low weekly high these are the positions i i prefer if i have it so as you can see this is the new week also started tuesday and this is the previous week high and this is the previous week low how do i know it's a previous week high previous week low you can watch the previous video where i already explained what all things i set in the um, in the chart and what are the things i'm looking at so each of these colors indicates different different things so i'm not going to explain that i hope you watch the video then come back then you will understand 
so i place another trade i take two trades i place two trades let's see if i am getting any positions okay market violated my one of my positions so this one hit stop loss right so this one hit stop loss so what i will do is i will take a screenshot of this particular position i'll delete this one because this there was no trade for me and this is the trade market violated went all the way break previous week low and the, the week before that low also uh, uh, is broken so in this case what i will do is i'll just uh, take a screenshot of this particular section then i'll go to my trade platform i'll 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 put the image here i'll put previous week low week low violated and hit sl then what i will do is i will copy this basically i mean too lazy to type everything one by one so what i'll do is i'll copy paste instead of short the entry that we took is long so i put long then i'll add again so negative 0 0.6 because i take a 0 0.6 percentage loss and a target is 1.2 percentage in my 200k account okay because that is a one phase account that is a night challenge there's a different account altogether different uh, concept altogether don't worry about it as i said just start with whatever we are doing right now phase one phase two we will focus on that first then we'll let us uh, see on the other parts like how to get scaled up to bigger uh, bigger accounts right so long so i'll just check what's the timing in which this happened so entry and exit was everything was in one time this is 16 that means london open so third gen basically third gen 2023 is the day so i will put like this third we'll do for one week because this is back testing it will take a long time to do so we'll just do for one week and see how it goes so 16 so london open violated our positions so this is what happened so it's okay so i put it like that then i go back and i do the same thing which i will play so i'll wait for the next day to open now okay the next day open i'll put it here so it's not disturbing the view so as you can see the market is traded from a low now it's coming back to uh, the back to some of the positions that we have right so uh, sorry the back to the cpr back to the cpr level so there is a cpr over here well, bottom cpr mid cpr high, uh, top cpr and there is a previous week low is there so what i will do is i'll place two trades in this case in this case i am ex i am expecting the market to go down my view is uh, expecting the market to go down there is two reasons which one i explained in the previous one which is if the market is opening between cpr as well as the uh, your previous low in the higher probability market trades below then the next one i'll put it at the previous week low itself so there is two entries i will place like this and two short entries if this two violated it's okay because what i'm going to lose is just let's say 1.6 percent that's it if both the position is going to hit sl so it's all about money ma money management as, as you can see you see both the positions got violated wigged out market may trade below or it can go higher also i mean let's see what happens so market traded above and consolidated at that range so what happened is our both the positions that we took over here these two got wigged out see wigged out hit sl and the other one also got wigged out it both happened at what time same london open 15 pre london opening and london opening so London opening for the past two days our trade is a loss so this one two positions so i'll put two positions over here okay oops go back here i'll put come over here i come over here take a screenshot come back over here paste it i don't know why i'm not able to paste it okay 
so it's okay i will uh, i i i hope you guys understand how do i do back testing i mean uh, how i do the journaling so let's let's just run the back test now not going to do the journaling part i'll do the journaling part later so the next day market open interesting and the uh, market open at i will just move this here so it's easier for you guys to see also and for me to see also so the market violated these two positions as you can see trade higher and coming back to retest at the uh, cpr level and there is a previous previous week high is also there so in the, sorry previous week low is also there so i will place long entries over here since the market moved up so i am putting at the previous week high so always uh, at the previous when there is a cpr when there is previous week low previous day high previous day low and previous week high or previous week low i will prefer previous week high because that is more um how to say higher time frame position for me so that will respect more than other positions right so so that is why i will take only the the higher time frame positions not the lower time frame positions so in this case market violated again i was a uh, sl hit again over here which you can see market traded higher but came back and hit sl which is no problem so we have 1 2 3 4 four trades back to back in a losing so i'll just continue so the market opened over here nearer to the low and market is will trade to the cpr and will trade lower so my view is short i will short the market so in this case what i'll do is i'll put it at the bottom cpr which is also close to the previous day low so only one trade some of the days because whenever we have a view which is like extremely bearish or bearish view to the market at that time uh, usually we don't we don't uh, how to break we don't uh, we don't need to take two trades because as you can see the buy limit there's no point in putting the buy limit so as you can see there's few things happened over here let me see what happened exactly so as you can see the market tag me in then yeah the market tag me in then what is this this is the market tag me in at this point of time then market made a closing over here then came down high volatility i again expected there is some news or whatsoever came closer to the uh, tp as you can see just what one pip or two pip closer to the tp but went north again so that means went all the way up break the previous weak high or uh, i mean previous weak high also i mean is trading uh, higher let's see what happens so i'm going to place a trade now five trades right 1 2 3 4 five we have a five day losing streak now so market is trading higher closer to the what is this okay this is a new week so we will wait we will not consider this as the fair value fair value is over here okay don't get confused whenever a new week start we will not respect this blue line now we will respect this blue line because this blue line is already done now we'll respect only the new one which is over here so i'll place a short position over here in the previous week low which is over here oops i'll place a short entry over here short here then i'll place a long entry at the fair value or there is a cpr over there i put at the fair value so let's see market to be traded over there that's my view market to trade down take my positions and go up or either way it is fine let's see so market is moving up mm, tag me in almost hit the profit oh tag me out again so let's see let's see on this one this is a very tricky one usually usually when we do the back testing and everything we i will usually check because for me i take based on the high as you can see the high of this 1.06996 and our entry is our entry is 6694 6994 
high is 6996 so in this case actually we are tagged in over here for this particular trade so we tagged in this trade and we got strike dot over here i mean came closer to our um, tp and uh, went to the other side went north so this is a six lose uh, six days uh, losing streak. this is very similar to may i think if i'm not wrong may 22 was very similar where in this strategy had a eight back to back losing streak eight or nine i mean i'll show you guys later uh, so okay the market trader between the cpr as well as the uh, previous day high in this case the possible entry will be buy again we will put the buy over here at the previous day low and also the bottom cpr i mean this is my view let's see what happens so we are tracking trades based on basically on the previous day high previous day low or at the cpr level that's it basically only those two trades those are the two trades that we are looking at in the market when we come this is a consolidation range nothing happened in the market on that particular day it's just pure consolidation let's see what happens on the next day you'll we'll still keep it at the this area because that area is a very important level so we'll keep one position open at that same level sometimes i'll just leave that same position op open there itself because it's a uh, so good to have that positions okay nothing happened pure consolidation in the market previous day high market is going testing the previous day high consolidating in the same range pure consolidation again nothing happening in the market a big move market trade higher i think it's a news i don't know whatever happens the market is trading higher we have no trades okay for the past one two three trades we have no trades because the previous high is not violated in any of the cases and previous no low is not also violated in any of the cases okay so in this case what we can see is also it is not tagged in let me see if it is tagged in or not the previous high is tagged in or not short position short okay so in this case the previous high is tagged that means the previous high is violated by the market then the market tagged in and we got the profit so this is the first profit after six losing streak right so that is if you if you think about it it's like crazy right how to have a six losing streak when you have two losing streak you started uh, doubting your strategy so how are you gonna survive a six losing streak so this this losing streak and everything can happen in any any trading strategy any given trading strategy i'm telling you there will be a losing streak and in the previous trading strategy which i was using i mean the one in 2022 in may there is a nine day losing streak for this particular strategy so if let's say you are not disciplined enough what will happen is at that point of time you will lose your patience and you're going to leave the strategy is he right we just be, need to be patient if we just follow the same thing previous day we just put the word we just put a position at the previous day high when the previous day high is broken same over here broken and the profit so back to back to profit so when we have a two profit it's like what uh, we are risking 0 0.6 to make this one so 1.2 percentage and we had five fight five, five losing streaks so five into 0 0.6 that will be three percentage be down three percentage now we are up sorry now we are not up we are still at the losing one but this two positive two profit will be 2.4 percentage now we are at 0 0.6 percentage loss so you see just two back to back profit is enough for us to recover so you need to consistently follow something you cannot just do random things in the market if you're doing one thing you have to keep doing the same thing repeat it over and over again so we'll wait for a market to tag either the low or high of the market then we'll see if there is no high or low is violated then we will have no trades so market is in a consolidation move no trades nothing still in the consolidation level let's see it's going to tag in on the high or the low there's a previous week high over here which we will trade yes as i said and we hit so the previous week high which is the orange line which we've been trading for a while so previous week high is tagged in and we are in a profit so back to back three profit so three profit will be what is it 2.4 3.6 now we are at break even right 
no now we now we are not at break even now we are at up six six zero point six percentage so uh so basically that's it that's how i usually trade it's very simple you look at the yellow lines because you if you want to understand what is yellow line orange line whatsoever you need to watch the video as i said please go and watch the video then you will understand what's yellow line orange line whatsoever yellow line previous day high yellow line the below is previous day low orange line is a previous week high and the uh, orange line below is a previous week low and blue line is a fair value and we will take trades at all these levels that's it and we will take trades at cpr when the market is trending either up or down when market is consolidating we will only take trades at this levels which is what i shared in the last video if you haven't watched the video please watch the video to understand what is the strategy so basically that's how we do the strategy but most important thing right i mean it was good that actually when we did right this this part right when we have this losing streak where is it when we have this losing streak or back to back losing streak or a week full of losing streak or something like that something like this happen then we don't have a trade but we have a lot of losing streak and we are not getting any trades how many losing losers we have we can see over here today this was our losing streak right 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 losers back to back i'm telling you not even 6 when we reach 5 or 3 at that point of time you will look for another strategy right got me fine wrong so this happens to most of us right i mean this is the main problem that means you cannot consistently follow something because you will look for other things when you keep looking for other things the 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 problem is you will never be consistent you cannot run the probability of that one thing happening because you keep changing different different things no matter whichever strategy that you follow please stick to it and understand how the strategy works back test then you understand how many times you will win then place a risk reward which satisfies that uh, back testing result then whatever it is 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 1 is to 1.5 you decide based on your 1 is to 10 also based on what is your strike rate everything based on the back testing data i want you guys to do something is a small homework for you guys is to do back testing don't just believe what i did for back testing i want you guys to do is just go back to the trading view maybe go to 2022 or 2021 whichever um, thing that you feel put like the cpr or 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 even mark in the chart like previous week high previous week low previous day high previous day low and the central pivot range that's all you need i use a kp indicator because i'm too lazy to draw so it's easier for me everything is already here i just need to place a trade right so basically that's it that's the back testing result that i want to share and also some some tips on the trading psychology and when you fo- when you follow the particular strategy please follow one thing then you have to stick to it and follow okay one quick example will be i show you guys the result of how we did in the strategy and i will show you guys during the may i think it's in may there is a losing streak like back to back losers all the way losing let me see where is it i think it will be good for you guys to see that so at least you will know how to how to go through that it's very important for you guys to understand also you see this one how many losers we can see here <laughs> how many losing trades is here what is this nine losing trades i said six right it's not even six it's nine losing straight this is the main problem Mo- most of you will stop <laughs> stop this strategy and try another another thing over here you follow any strategy any mentor or whoever it is they will ha- it's inevitable in every strategy there is a losing streak that losing streak will come back to back losing streak will come and you have to go through that mentally and psychology that's why it's a mind game trading is a more like a mind game right it's not more like a other thing is more on your mind once you once you are used with it then it's a uh, once you once you understand it then you you already passed right so in order to have the 75 percentage uh, in order to have that you must go through it there is no other way so basically that's it guys that's all i want to share with you guys today uh i hope you guys find this video valuable i w- if you like this kind of content please like the video please share with your friends uh, and ask more people to join our telegram channel where i'm sharing all my trades i'm putting the screenshot of all my trades even if it's a winner or loser whatever it is i'll just share with you guys so you guys will know that i'm taking trades i'm not just say telling you something i'm taking trades literally in my phone i'm just taking the screenshot and sending it to you guys as well okay so i wish you guys all the best i hope you guys have a wonderful week days and weekend as well in the upcoming week so i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay safe